There we go. Got my paperwork. All righty. Got to give that to the insurance adjuster. How's everybody doing today? We got to get stuff rock and rolling on the farm today. So today is the first day of harvest without any employees. Well, it is what it is. We, we got to keep working. So I've already called the insurance adjusters and they should be bringing out the new truck. That one is completely totaled. They looked at it. It's totaled. It's not coming back. And the reason it's not coming back is these leaf springs back here, they're toast. We're going to actually go ahead and get a new truck of the new truck, figure out how to get another combine driver. And I have something very interesting in coming today. I might go pick it up later today. Hopefully it comes in because we need a green card that we can depend upon. And the only green card I can think of other than bar analysis, we will still use analysis unless we, this green card comes in today. Then we are using this because this is actually a really cool demo we are getting from the dealer. Now this is a nice truck right here. I mean, it could be nicer, but yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Here's your paperwork. Here is the key to that truck over there. All right, I'm going to let you, if you want to go ahead and unload that beautiful new truck, I'm going to get the good old tractor out. We'll see if we can load it up. All right. That's a, yeah, that's a lot better. There you go. It's on the trailer. Yeah. Now take that hunk of junk and get it out of my sight. Thank you, sir. Out of your sight. Got it. You know what? Let's at least look around. That's just a really nice truck. This is supposed to be a 2017 Ford F550. So somewhat close to what we had before, except newer and a lot better. You know, I am slowly starting to realize that I have two combines, no grain cart currently, and nobody drives in my trucks. Yeah, look at this. We are perfectly fine. We're able to operate without William or the other or driver. We're able to just sit here and harvest. 208 bushel corn, that's not terrible. I've seen worse. Um, You know, after sitting here for about five minutes, uh, I have realized there's a lapse in my judgment. There is no grain cart driver. No grain cart driver equals, I need to go hire William back. All right, let's uh pack this up. I need to go find him at the co-op because I am not about to sit there and be my own grain cart driver as I'm the corn harvester. And plus, it doesn't help the dealership's giving me a call saying that the new surprise is over there at the dealership. We got to go. We got to get over there and get that. I need William ASAP. I'd like to get driver eventually too. I mean, I know they messed up and all, but sometimes you got to forgive and forget. What are you doing? Uh, well, I realize that uh, not having any workers is worse than having bad workers. Well, I mean... You, you got a point, but now you're, you know, I'm busy. I mean, I'll give you an extra Slim Jim. Oh, fine. You, you want to turn your combine off first? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to waste that diesel. That stuff's almost five dollars a gallon right now. Wait, is this a new truck? Oh, yeah, 2017. Huh. Uh, the other one, could you believe it had a bent frame? Shocks were completely out of the back rear. A lot of issues with it. Yeah, I don't know how that would have happened. I mean, maybe it's these roads, you know? Yeah, it was weird. I was talking to them trying to find a new grain cart, and they said, well, we'll let you demo a grain cart for the rest of the year. Apparently, it's supposed to be big, and it's supposed to be beautiful. Hey, I like the sound of that. Th this is our demo right here. This is the only demo on the lot, looks like. <laughs> It's just a case quad track 715 with a ball. Oh my. Nate, that holds 2,850 bushel. Hey, I can live with this demo. What about you? Oh, I can. Woo. All right, we, we got to hear this sound screen up. We, we got to. You ready? Yep, start it up. Oh. <laughs> Now, this ain't a beast. I don't know what it is. Ah, there we go. All right, I was trying to figure out how to put this wheel down. Oh, Look, adjustable. the wheel's actually adjustable. What? Like, it's actually adjustable. You can actually adjust and put it right where you want it. Come on, jump in. Wait, can I actually? <laughs> Dude. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my. Dude, wait till the driver gets a load of this. Hey, we'll come back from the truck later. Uh, hey, bud. Yeah. This ain't gonna work. No, I, I know. That that's tighter than a tick. Yeah, uh, this isn't very comfy. Yeah, no. Um, trip to the co-op to borrow the harvesters. Uh, definitely. Uh, let's go ahead and go get those. Oh yeah, it fits easily. All right, you go go ahead and get in the field then. Alrighty. We're gonna put that up right there. Kick her feet back and just watch the man work. How you doing, buddy? Good. This is actually nice not to be in an eight row. Yeah, well, at this rate, we can just fit all the corn in this. That is true. Oh, that's cool. What does it do else now? So when you open the door, the light in the cab actually comes on. 
Wow. Hey, Nate? Yeah. The trailer that the semi was hooked to is half full of corn already. Grab the other one. All right. Where'd we get that tractor? Uh, we have a demo. And the grain cart. What happened to the orange one? They offered me a demo because they heard what happened to my other one. You can't put a demo in front of me this big and expect me not to take it. That one would probably knock the tree over, wouldn't it? Yeah, most definitely. But we're not going to touch it with a tree because this setup does cost $1.5 million. So what you're saying is the grain cart only costs like $100,000? Uh, no, 200000 1.3 for the tractor, 200000 for the grain cart. How full did you get me here? Do I need to go take it anywhere? Oh, you're full. Oh, okay. We actually need to start storing because prices are really low. We need to store it. You may need to take the company card and uh go get a pullover thing for the augers 10 four. yeah i can go grab one uh, there's another load done hope we can go ahead and get this thing knocked out pretty quickly we got uh, a little too much work to do bud i'm on my way back have we thought about upgrading the uh the semi at all she's fine she ages like old fine wine I'm not saying she ain't looking good but maybe a little bit more performance would be all right one day not right now uh william do you want to just are we taking this down there to the plots to start those or are we leaving this up here uh we're gonna take it down all righty uh driver if you want to park that truck in the field and take this truck over here that'd be appreciated yep this field right here or closer to the plots uh this field because you'll take this truck right here should be plenty big enough all right, William. You, uh, you're the head of all this, uh, so explain. All right, I guess we can start off with the combine. You guys are probably wondering, okay, four-row head, what's going on here? Well, this is a TR Twin Rotor New Holland. So what we're doing basically here is we have four-row plots, and it's going to go up into this combine, and we are going to read what yields we're getting. We will take it over to the small way wagon, and then weigh it, see what we're getting overall for moisture content and yield. We'll dump it in this trailer, and then we will see who has the best yields. Question. Go for it. Can we turn it into popcorn? If you'd like. Perfect. Let's get it going. Okay. Hey, William, I got a question. Yes, sir. Why Why do we have a uh, Walmart version of a grain cart right here? Well, it's a, it's, it's a way wagon. It's, it, we don't need a grain cart for this. I mean, if you want a grain cart, your grain cart's uh, tur turn around. It's, it's right there. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. Whatever. So off this first plot, so what have you received already? Uh, So this is actually an experimental plot. This is not out yet, but we're hitting about 238 bushel on a new brand blend of decaf. Okay, well, what's the blended with? Uh, Well, it's a 35 rib, so we're looking at new genetics. Um, this is going to have some already built-in BT traits uh, that basically just keeps the insects away. I mean, they eat it, it crystallizes their inside, and uh, that's less insecticide you got to put down. Interesting. So, I guess we'll move up to the top field now? Yes, we are going to be testing Pioneer next. Alrighty, William. <sighs> Alrighty. So, that was the new Pioneer 1718. Um, we we're looking at 216 overall, so we're we're uh, we're 22 bushel short. Uh, I don't think the Pioneer reps are gonna like this one uh, at all, but uh, they'll just have to live with it. Well, we did everything we could to make it as good as we could. Yeah, well, there's a lot of green snap in there. It's uh, that's pretty Pioneer. So, don't destroy our equipment. Piece of junk. Hey, just because your stuff didn't test out the way you wanted to, don't mean anything. And what's the final verdict of the day? Because we got all three brands. Uh. They actually all went down. Hefty got 210 bushels, so your winner is Decab. Knowing the year they had, I'm not surprised that their genetics continue to improve. So what you're saying is we should probably just go ahead and make, like, corn maze out of this stuff? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so let me go ahead and get on phone my local Decab uh, dealer. and uh, say hi to Yeah, we're going we're gonna to buy us some Decab. 